Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys how you can manually update your MyGika ATV 1800E. Alright, without wasting your time, the things that you need is a toothpick or something that you can place your box into the recovery mode. The second thing you need is an SD card. Make sure your SD card is over 512 megabyte. Alright, so let's just get started. First thing first, you need to download the file. So for that, we will go into mygika.ca website. Under forms, we have to find the one that indicates the firmware for the 1800E. And this one also going to be compatible for the ATV582. So we will just scroll down a little bit and the file will be here. So you can click on it and download. Once you get the file, it will be a zip file. You need to open it. So if you are on Windows or on Mac, you can just double click on it and it will give you a folder. It will be something like this. It is an image file. We need to hook up our SD card to our card reader and we will get a pop-up like this. So if you have anything inside of it, just drag and drop them inside one folder and that's it. If you do not have enough space, then delete some stuff out of your SD card or totally delete everything and then go into the zip folder that it just opened grab the file, drag and drop it in root of your SD card. So at the meantime, we will wait till this is done. Once the file is moved to your SD card, close down the folders that you have, grab your SD card out of your card reader and hook it up to your MyGika 1800. And at the meantime, make sure that your HDMI wire is connected to your MyGika 1800. Now grab your toothpick or in my case the screwdriver, hook it up right beside the HDMI wire. There is a little reset part. Make sure that it's pushed in and now hook up the power. You should see the Android logo, it says 4.4 KitKat. So once you are in recovery mode, scroll down and select wipe data slash factory reset and select it. And then scroll down and select yes delete all user data and now it will take a couple of seconds to totally wipe your data out of this box once it's done you need to scroll down and select apply update from the ext and select it now since we put everything in the sd card we need to scroll down and say update from sd card and the first thing that will come up is the image file that we just loaded on this and you can see it says update my giga now again, the same file will be available for ATV582 and it's going to work on this too. So we're going to load it on our ATV1800E and you can see the file date as 2014 November 5th image. So we will just click on enter and it will take a couple of seconds for it to go through. So we are just waiting. So at the meantime, you can see it says verifying update package. And again, not to bore you guys, I will fast forward some of the scenes, please. Once it's done, you will see at the bottom, it will say that install from SD card is completed and script is succeed. So there was no error message on this. And at the top, you're going to get to reboot your system now. So we will click on reboot system now. Since this is the first boot, it took a little time for it to just go through. So as soon as it boots up, you will see the nice animation for booting in. And then you're going to see this pop-up that comes up. These are all preloaded apps that are on this box itself on the new software. So it's just right now just installing it for us. On top of that, I do not want to forget that I have to let you guys know to take the SD card out of the card, out of the box itself. Once that's done, we're going to wait till this goes to main screen. Again, not to bore you guys, I will fast forward some of the scene. Once you are on main screen, you're going to see the welcome screen, so we will just click next. The first time that it boots up, this is what you're going to see. So all the settings are there. On the top, you can see it says app, says settings. You can set up your Wi-Fi there. If the time is wrong, which mine is, you can set it up underneath of times. All right, so today I came out to show you guys how you can manually update your MyGika ATV1800E. I hope you guys like our video. 
If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xetext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, find Instagram and other social networking places. And thank you.